Given a binary tree, please design an algorithm to return its in-order traversal values and do this iteratively. How can you do that? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through Lyrical Problem 94 again, binary tree in order traversal. But this time we're going to do this iteratively without using a recursive function call. Let's take a look at the problem again. Given a binary tree, just return the in order traversal of its nodes values. For example, given this tree, 1, 2, 3, and it's, uh, the correct output should be 1, 3, 2. Okay, now let's just uh, take a look at the slides and have a quick recap. What does in order traversal mean? That means the, we follow the order of left node and right. We follow this order. By in, just to help people to memorize in, this in means the root node is sitting in the middle. In is between in the middle, between left and right. So this just helps people to better memorize what is, what is in order, what is pre-order, what is post-order. Pre-order is basically root node. This node is in the very beginning. That means root is before both left and right, so that is pre-order. And post-order is just the root node is behind both left and right. With that said, let's dive into this. We're going to use a stack, which is behind the scenes how a recursive function call is implemented in the computer program. Okay, now let's take a look. For example, we're given this binary tree, a slightly bit more complex, which gives us a better example to help understand how we can use a stack to imitate the recursive function call. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So first, of course, we are going to, the order that we have to go through is left, node, and right. Left, node, and right. So we'll just follow this order whenever. So in the very beginning, we were only given access to the root node. So we will push the root node towards the bottom of the stack. Remember the stack, the feature of stack is fivefold, first in, last out, right? So we push the root node, always the root node on top of the stack, and then we check if it has a left node. If it has a left node, we'll always push the corresponding left node on top of the stack until there is no such a node, which is in this case, false left child. It doesn't have anything. Okay, um, I'll just pause there and let's just go through this one step at a time so that you have a better understanding. First, we have stack. We, in the very beginning, we will only give access to the root node, which is this node, the node with value one. And then we just push this node on top of the stack. Right now the stack is empty. We push this tree node onto this stack. Now this stack has this node, which is the node with value one. And then, as I said, the in-order the in-order traversal order is left node right, left node right. So we'll check if this one has a left node, which is which it does. It has left node two. Then we push this node on top of the stack. Again, we'll push. We'll check if this one has a left node. It does. Okay. So again, we'll push this node on top of the stack. And then we'll check whether this one has a left node. No, it doesn't. At this point. We'll stop that while loop and pop whatever the current one that is on top of the stack, right? Which is this one. And we'll add this value into our final result list. This is our final result list. And then before we continue the other loop, what we will do is that remember the order of the in order traversal is left, node, right. So we checked it's left. This one's left is now. That's why we pop this one out and add this value into the result list, right? And then following that order, what we need to check is we need to check is right child, which is this one, six. It does have a right child. So we'll, what we will do is that we will add this one, this the node with value six as next step on top of the stack, right? Because the order of the in order traversal is left node right, left node right. Okay, so we did left node right, and then we have six on top of the stack. Again, following that, what we will do is check its left one. No, it, its left child is now, so we don't need to do anything. Then we, we what we will do is we'll pop this one out of the top of the stack, right? So, and then we add six into the final result list. At this moment, what we will do is we'll check its right child. Its right child doesn't have anything. Okay, then we'll just pop that one out. This one is out of the stack, and then we'll continue. What we are left over with is two, right? Two. So we'll pop this two out of this call stack, out of this stack, and then we check. It doesn't have, um, we, first we'll add two 
into the result list because the order of the in order traversal again is left node and right left node right so we finished exhausting all of this nodes the node with value to left side its left side is completed right and then we'll add two into the final result list and then we'll check left node right left is done node is done and then it's right we'll check it's right it's right doesn't have anything so we don't need to do anything and then we'll continue so this part this entire part this left part is done including the node with value 2 right so we'll pop this one off of the stack and then we have this one this is the only one that's remaining on top of the stack and then we'll pop this one out because we finished exhausting we finished going through all of its left chart following the order left node and right so we need to add this node the value of this one which is one into the result list right and then we'll go through its right because left node right left node right right now we'll add node so we'll go through its right and its right it does have some nodes so we'll put this one on top of the stack right after adding one into the result list we'll add three on top of the stack so three here and then we'll check three is left three is left it does have a left child so we'll add five on top of the stack and then we check if five has a left child no it doesn't have anything so we'll pop five off of the stack right and then we'll add five into the result list because five right now is the root node and then we'll check five's right five's right doesn't have anything now we can simply remove this five and then right now we finished the left part of this root node which is three and then follow the order of left node right so we have three as the root node and then we'll just have three off of the stack pop three off of the stack and then add three into the result list and then we check if three has any right children no it doesn't have anything and also at this moment the stack is empty now we can just return this is the final output result of the in order traversal of this binary tree and we do this iteratively without calling without writing a recursive function I hope this makes sense basically we um, implement we you we are using a stack to explicitly implement how a recursive function really works uh, keep in mind that the in the in order traversal goes by left node and right time complexity of this algorithm is also o n and space complexity is still o n because we need to go through every single node now with this understood uh, let's just quickly put this idea into the actual code let's see copy this according to nest return array list return list first we'll initialize a stack the type of the stack is node tree node we'll call it new stack and how can we implement this so basically if stack is is not empty or root is is not now remember we have to go through all of the left side first and then we'll keep assigning the root dot left to root until we reach the very left side until we reach the very left leaf which doesn't exist and then we'll just stop here we'll have a, another while loop here which basically goes helps us to go through the left side first while root not equals to now what we will do is that we'll as I said we just push everything on top of the stack using the feature of stack which is FIFO first in last out and then we'll just put everything on top of the stack and then we'll keep going through the left side of this root node first and then whenever say whenever this one the left side is empty we will just pop it out pop whatever the current one on top of the stack off of the stack which is stack pop it off and then as at this moment since it's left is already we have gone through that so left is done then we add the node value into the list root val right and then so left root is done and then we'll go through its right right so then we assign root dot right to become the new root and then we'll traverse we'll let the this while loop go again in the end we'll just return list 
that's how we implement the in-order traversal using um, not using a recursive function, but we, we use a stack this data structure to explicitly implement this algorithm. Let, now let's hit submit and see. Accept it. Uh, again, time and space complexity are both still ON since we have to visit every single node once. I hope this video does help you understand or make sense of this iterative solution. If it does, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Right now, we're going through these problems topic by topic. We'll go through dynamic programming, um, different combinations of data structures and algorithms. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.